Hey guys, Malkuth1974 coming back at you with a mod spotlight slash tutorial on a couple new blocks that they added to Thermal Expansion. For you Feed the Beast guys out there, uh, you probably won't get this right off because it is a new update. You'd have to uh, manually download it. But for you guys that do this all on your own, you know, go grab it. It's a pretty cool update and I'll show you what it's about. Now, one of the first blocks is a new pipe called the liquid duct and what this is is basically like your build craft uh, waterproof pipes only it's from thermal expansion now the difference between a build craft pipe and this one is that this one is a lot faster than the build craft ones I mean a lot faster and I'll show you over here I got a couple of examples up here um, and to construct it all you need is copper ingots and hardened glass and then hardened glass is made in the uh, thermal expansions uh, induction smelter uh, with lead and you know it's got a couple different ways to make it usually lead lead ingots and pulverized obsidian I mean it's not a cheap cheap uh, recipe so it's not like it's you know totally outdoing the build craft pipes but let's show you how this sucker works. I got it running over here. I got a basic pump set up. As you can tell, I got four redstone engines on these. And the pipes are actually faster than the Buildcraft pump. That's why it's kind of like pumping out with just the redstone engines on it. I got it going into a Railcraft tank. As you can see here. So yeah, these pipes can hook up to pretty much anything, railcraft, uh, buildcraft, industrial craft, anything you need that, you know, does liquid. And then of course, uh, the, the thermal expansion stuff too. This next one I got over here is, I have the same thing hooked up, but I have peat engines hooked up, which makes it a little bit faster. Just for I can show you how fast these, uh, these suckers are. As you can tell, it's already filling that up I'm gonna be I will be replacing in my uh, my personal game all my my pipes that run my uh, my machines my I just built a 300 plus EU uh, geothermal generator and these pipes on that on those would be great but see how fast it's quicken up it's pretty much I actually this is I only kind of made this so it actually used up all the <laughs> all the all the lava but if you had an actual lava source like in the nether or something it would uh, be pretty good now for situations where you want to actually go from one pipe to another or one tank to another where you want to pump these out of this tank I'll show you from the, the standard build craft tanks here if you go like this, you'd be like, oh, well, how does that work? Well, it has a special little function on it. If you right-click on it, it changes it. That changes it to extraction mode. And then all you need to actually get to start extracting is a redstone signal. You can either use a torch or you can use a lever. And as you can tell, it's filling that right up. And it's just as quick as anything else. pretty cool little pipes I think definitely gonna be switching over to these um, and if you guys are like oh that's kinda if it, if it seems like cheating it's not cheating because it will be in feed the beast um, the same thing goes for over here if I yeah how am I gonna set this up alright here we go we'll break. now if you see here I can't break these blocks no matter how I try you can only do it with a wrench and the way you do it is you push a sneak mode or the shift key and then you hit it and it'll break it'll break a uh, something that has it in it it's only because it's um there's something in here if it wasn't any liquid in here 
you could, uh, I think you can break it. Oh, maybe not. Alright, so, yeah, so you gotta, to break them, you gotta push shift and the right click, it will break them. Which is a pretty cool thing. How many times have you guys actually been building with buildcraft pipes and all of a sudden you accidentally broke your pipes and you screwed up everything? But I want to show you guys it. Alright, so one little special feature about these pipes is that, say I already have a pipe like this, it's got the liquid in it, you'll be like, oh, I want to put another pipe through here, but you only have one type of pipe. No, not quite. This is technically now a separate pipe from what I'm holding in my hand, and I'll show you why. See how they're separate? Now I can run lava through there. So say that lava is now running through there solidly, I would be able to actually add another pipe right next to it. So it's kind of a, a different feature, you know, something you don't see all the time. It's like a updating pipe. And you're wondering, well, how do I add pipe to it? Like, if I go like this, it's not connected. Well, that's where the wrench comes in again. Without left clicking, actually, you got to go like that. Okay. Without left clicking, don't go like that or it'll break the pipe. You set up your pipe. It's hooked right there. And you have to hit the part of the pipe that is facing the other end. So, right here, it's the front and the back. You just hit it, and they're connected. So, let's see how this works here. What we'll do is we will get this connected. What I want to actually, I'll show you guys again. Say we wanted to connect those. Right click it. Bang. All good. Alright. So, now the same idea over here. If I want to pump out of this pipe. I have to right click, shift right click this, whoops, sorry, let's see if I can get this working here, no it's uh, not shift, sorry, just regular right click it, and you need to add a redstone signal to it, and now it'll pump it out, it'll go all the way to this pipe, and as you can tell it's pumping it pretty quick, I think these are the newest, the newest greatest pipe to be added, I mean I really like these pipes which makes them just worth it in themselves to have a mod spotlight. Okay, one of the next things they added to this is the portable tank. So, what's the portable tank? Well, I'll show you. You put the tank down on the ground, and, well, you got a tank. Big deal. Well, let's add some water to it. Bam! Still, big deal well you take your wrench hold shift or sneak right click oh look now we got a whole different game we have a pipe full of water portable pipes doesn't matter what's in it water and then of course you can just lay it back down and there it is now something I'm not sure of Let's see what happens when you add more than one. If you hit the bottom one, now you got three. You can bring them wherever you want. Whoops, don't want to lose that. Stack them or put them side by side whatever you want and that's the portable pipes so how do you construct a portable pipe I probably should show you guys that same idea you need the hardened glass which again is made in the induction smelter I don't believe there's any other way to make it and again it's not cheap it uses pulverized obsidian so you gotta get your obsidian and it uses leg, uh, lead and you get your hardened glass so that's about it on the spotlight and on this tutorial. Really neat little pipes that come out. Uh, thanks guys for watching. This is Malkuth 1974 off. See you later.